Hi you guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title of today's video, I am bringing you yet another full face of first impressions. I posted one of these videos about two months ago and you guys absolutely loved it. If you guys follow me on my Instagram or TikTok or even my YouTube, then you would know that I grab out of my makeup case every single time I do my makeup. I have all of my products in here. Whether I have to do my makeup on the go, whether I'm traveling or whatever the case is, I like to know that everything is in one place and I can grab it and take it with me wherever I please. But I also do have a drawer of makeup that obviously stays in my bathroom and that is where I keep a lot of new products that I get sent in PR or products that I buy but just never get around to using. So not only do I have this whole bag of Sephora products that I went and bought, during the sale, but I also have a whole bunch of products in my makeup drawer that I'm going to be pulling from and using, like I said, for the first time with you right here, right now. So yeah, I absolutely love filming Get Ready With Me's, and if you guys want to see more day-to-day -day style Get Ready With Me's at a faster pace over music and kind of aesthetically pleasing, then be sure to go check out my TikTok. I'll overlay some clips right here to show you a little example of what I'm talking about. But I've been doing a ton of these for the past few months and they're definitely my most viewed videos and I know that you guys love them so much. I like to do this once in a while on YouTube as well to just talk with you guys and catch up and make it a little more personal. But TikTok is where you can find a lot more of these style videos if it's what you love. I just wanna show you guys a little overview. I got some blushes, some setting powders, some skin tints, new contour, a full face of new products. So let's get right into it. The Iconic London Super Smoothing Blurring Skin Tint. And this is in the shade Neutral Light. I don't really know how much of this to put on but I guess I'm gonna start with that much and then I can obviously always add more if I need to. I got this travel brush holder case from Amazon and it has been an absolute saving grace. I love how it's so easy to see all of them and you just kind of grab which one you need, when you need it, and you can put it right back super easily and they close into each other for traveling purposes. And like I already mentioned, I travel a lot and I like all of my products to be easily transportable and all in one place. I'm just gonna take this big fluffy brush and blend this all out. Maybelline eraser in the shade 160. And I believe this is one of their newer shades. It has pinky undertones and I love me a nice bright pink under eye. And before I blend this out, I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. and use it as contour. I hope I didn't just put way too much. For my nose contour, I'm just gonna stick to what I know and use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Wand. Okay, so here's what my base is looking like. I really love the way that the concealer and the contour worked. I didn't blend in my nose yet because I kind of like to let that sit a little extra long to really ensure a nice nose contour. But I use this end of the Refi brush to blend out my contour and then I use my ring fingers to blend out my concealer. I've been doing that recently and I really love the way that it looks. I feel like it gives a little bit more of a full coverage finish and then towards Towards the end, I will take a concealer brush and kind of just pat to make sure that everything is super nicely blended. I'm gonna do a satisfying, ooh, I love the applicator of this for that sole purpose. And I'm just gonna take about that much. I'm gonna start with that and then obviously I could always add more. And then I'm gonna take this brush and buff it out. I typically layer like a few blushes, but I feel like with this, you don't really need to. And I love that because it's super simple. Next up, I'm going to be setting my face with the Givenchy Prisme Libre in the shade Voila Rose. And this has been one of my favorites for a few months now. And I am just so obsessed with it. Hola, everybody. Hace para titi. Thank you. Oh my pretty girl. Are you doing makeup? Yeah? You want to do it on TT? Thank you. Oh wow. You're so good at this. 
and we just take a second to admire how beautiful this packaging is. The shades in this palette and the way that the logo is imprinted on each one is absolutely everything and I don't even want to use it but I'm going to. Last weekend when I was at Coachella I did eyeshadow every day. Well, I didn't, but Jordan did, because I just have no idea how to even use eyeshadow. So, like, what did I just do? <laughs> but I got a palette that was very similar to the one she used on me. I did a mixture of a few colors, and I really like the way that it's looking. Like I said, for it being my first or second time ever attempting eyeshadow, I feel like this is okay. Next up for mascara, I'm going to be using the YSL Lash Clash in the black shade. I have seen this all over my For You page. I'm hoping for the best with this because just by the first look at the bristles, I feel like it's a lot thicker than I typically would go for in a mascara wand. So who knows, it may shock me and work, but I typically like a wispier separated lash than a thicker and clumpy one. This has got to be one of the messiest mascara applications I have ever done. So for lip liner, I started off with the Sephora Collection number 32 hot sauce and I just lined the outside of my lips. And next I'm taking the MAC lip liner in the shade Oak and kind of just lining the inside area to add some definition. And I got two new lip glosses, the Dior Maximizer in the shade 013 and then this Fenty Beauty in the shade Hot Chocolate. I think I'm gonna try this one since it's super jelly-like. Oh, this is so pretty. So I just wiped off the inner part and uh, put on the Dior one already. I really like this. And once I'm done with my makeup, I'll usually always go over with some more powder just to lock everything in one last time okay you guys and just like that my camera battery died of course but it was perfect timing because i was ready to do the outro anyway i hope you guys enjoyed watching this full face of first impressions video let me know if you guys want to see more of these in the comments below and surprisingly i really love how these products work overall and i will be incorporating a lot of them into my everyday routine so be sure to follow me on my tiktok and on my instagram to see me use these products more times in the near future subscribe for more content like this from me. I wish I had somewhere to go to show off this beautiful look, but I don't. So I'm probably just going to go and take this off and start editing this video. The Sephora spring sale is still going on by the time you guys are watching this. So if you're interested in shopping any of the products that I tried out, as well as any of my everyday products, I will leave them all linked down below. No, this is not sponsored, but I did save a lot of money when I was buying all of these and I want you guys to save money where you can as well. I love you guys so incredibly much and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.